the Fort Lauderdale Hogs and Alligator Alley Harley Davidson present Wednesday Night Live with your host, Ron Hill. Hello, everybody. I know you're wondering, who the hell is this? It's been a long time since I've done this, but we have some special stuff coming up, and so I just had to get out there one more time and let everybody know what's going on. We just finished our general chapter meeting about a week ago. We had about 35 to 40 people show up, and I just want to make sure everybody knows what's coming up this month. Um, we're halfway through the month but we have a very busy week. And just so you know, this is only about 10 minutes, so don't turn it off yet. So <laughs> I'm not gonna take up a lot of your time. 10 minutes is all I need. At the general chapter meeting, we discussed our ride 365. We're only in fourth place, okay? We're not out of it. Not by any means are we out of it, but I'm gonna get to the ride 365 challenge, which I wanna talk about in a few minutes. But for now, starting this weekend, we're gonna have our Hog Appreciation Day, that's June 17th. It's gonna be from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're, we're doing this to show our appreciation to Alligator Alley. They're having their Customer Appreciation Weekend. We're gonna help them out on Saturday, the 17th. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing yet. Sometimes they have their own food and we just help out serve. Hopefully, and rumor has it, we're gonna be barbecuing. And that would be really cool because I've heard other rumors that we're going to have a little challenge on who's the best grill master. It's a great time to come out and meet some of your fellow members. We do accept tips there and that's how we get some money to help fund some of our end of the year stuff that we do because we definitely want to give back at the end of the year. But so come on out there, help us out there. You also get double yellow tickets. So uh, you know what that's for, for at the chapter meetings, you can win some great prizes. So come on out, help us out on Saturday, June 17th. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. You'll meet some new members. We're just gonna have a lot, it's always a lot of fun. We haven't been able to do this in a while, so it's gonna be great to come back and start doing that again. So anyhow, come out and join me and everybody else I'm here on Saturday from 11 to 5 p.m. We probably finish up a little bit early, but typically it's 11 to 5. Oh, and you don't have to volunteer for the whole day either. If you come out and just help out for an hour, that's fine. That's good. That's all we're expecting. But come on out and give us a hand. We're gonna, we love seeing you and we'll have a good time with it. And then, and then we're gonna follow it up on Sunday, the 18th. We're gonna go to Alabama Jacks. That's our ride for the week, okay? We're going to Alabama Jacks, great location right on the water we have a, we always have a good time there uh kickstands up on that is going to be 10 o'clock and it's on card sound road uh, most of you know exactly where it's at so i'm not going to go into how we're going to get there it's always a nice ride um good food right now it's set for alabama jacks however there were there was a rumor going around at the general chapter meeting that we might switch it to some kind of festival that's going on that same weekend but just keep checking your calendar right now we're set for alabama jacks we're going to keep it that way again kickstands up is 10 o'clock please if you're going to go utilize the calendar sign up for that ride that gives the road the road captains a, an idea of how many we're going to need it also gives us an idea of how many people to tell the restaurant is going to show up so they can be prepared for us so we don't have long waits waiting for service and whatnot. You know how it goes. So it's a big help to everybody trying to organize the rides and everything if you use the sign up. So anyhow, that's going to be Sunday. Kick stands up again is 10 o'clock. Going to Alabama Jacks. We're going to have a great time. Please come on out and join us. Then the week is not done yet because we're, we're only on Tuesday now. Tuesday the 20th, where it's going to be our birthday bike night. And uh, right off the bat, I want to thank everybody because I am one of the birthdays for June. Everybody who wished me happy birthday at the general chapter meeting, thank you very much. It really meant a lot to me. Anyway, what we're doing, Tuesday, June 20th, we're going to Bonefish Max on West Sample Road. It's actually 6174 West Sample Road. It's going to start at 6 o'clock. Come on out. We're going to have cake after we all have our dinner, of course, because we are an eating club. So, But we're going to have cake, um, sing happy birthday, get to know everybody. It's a great way to show appreciation to our birthday hogs. They enjoy it. We all have a good time. That's going to be Tuesday, June 20th, 7 o'clock. Come on out and have some fun with us. Then, 
After that, only two days later, Thursday, June 22nd, yes, we have something else going on. We have our friends helping friends. This, let me tell you something. If you haven't been to one, you got to show up. I don't care if you're a new writer to the club or a new member to the club or a veteran to the club. We always seem to learn something new. It's put on by Lauren Payne, our safety officer, and she'll usually have special guests. Uh, Alan Roswire will show up. Mike Flaherty will show up. I'm there sometimes. Paul Levy's there. We all come in to help because it's friends helping friends. We're not instructors. We're not teachers. We're not certified. We might be certifiable, but we're not certified. If you come on out, especially the people who are new to, forget about new to the membership, but new to writing, period. If you're uncomfortable about certain things, U-turns, stopping hard, whatever the case may be, let us know and we're going to help you with that we have a lot of miles under our belts lauren does a great job keeping everything safe and that's what we're all about anyhow making sure everybody's safe because the safer you feel on your bike the more comfortable you're going to be hopefully that means more rides you'll join in with us so come on out that's going to be thursday starting at seven o'clock right here at alligator alley okay now we're to what I really wanted to talk about and why I'm doing this video again. Sunday, June 25th is our Ride 365 Challenge for the month of June. It's going to be a very special one. We're going to do the original route where it all began. It all began back in 2018 in December. It was the Ride 365 finale and two people really made this ride happen. As a result, we're going to honor them for this ride. This is their ride. One of them is Beth Charlton, and the other is Dave Spellinger. Beth put a lot of work involved in setting up this ride, designing the route, and let me tell you, to try to make a route exactly 365 miles, that's a job in itself. We came close. This one is actually 364 miles. It's one mile short, who knows? Maybe we'll do some laps in a parking lot when we're done. But uh, she pre-rode this ride probably a dozen times back in 2018, I know, because I did a lot of them with her. And it's great, it's a mix of highways, it's a mix, got some country roads, some state roads, it's a little bit of everything, which works out great on a Sunday ride because you can get through that 365 mile journey a little bit quicker when you have some highways involved. Now, Dave Spellinger, he took a huge piece of this ride. He promoted the hell out of it. And he was our liaison with the dealership. Um, he got everything organized. If you, anybody who was around back in 2018, remember we had a huge party afterwards. He had that all set up for us, got the dealership behind us, just really made the event what it was. When we got back to the dealership, he was the one grilling what we had called hog wings back there. They were delicious, by the way. He really put a lot of effort into this. And so as a result, I want to honor both of them, both Beth Charlton and Dave Spellinger for making this ride as special as it was back then. Hopefully it'll be just as special now because it is the true beginning of where this all began to what made our Ride 365 challenges so successful and what they have turned into. I said this is a mix of a little bit of everything. You know, you have highways and whatnot. I've pre-ridden the, the route. I've had to tweak it a little bit because in four and a half years, there's there was some construction on the original that has been completed. And I just want to make sure everything is right. Our kickstands up is at seven o'clock. And I did it twice now. And including lunch, I was back at the dealership around between two and three both times. So it's a great ride for a Sunday because you get back in time to spend the day with your loved ones or whatever, whatever you have on your, your agenda to do. Now, the beginning of the ride is highway. We're going to take the turnpike up to the first gas stop, which is just around Fort Pierce up in that area. And that's when the fun really begins. Because once we get our gas done, our gas fill up, it's all country roads from that point, point on. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Please come out and enjoy it with me. I just think this is going to be a special ride. By the way, we're going to stop at the same place for lunch, the log cabin. 
in LaBelle. And I talked to the manager there and I told him four and a half years ago we did this and we had just over 100 people show up for this ride back then. I'd love to see that happen again. I don't think it will, but I hope you all prove me wrong. But anyway, I told the manager it could be 40, 50, 60 people show up for this. So if you use the calendar to sign up, it really helps me because I'm going to call them a couple days ahead of time to give them a, an approximate number. Then the day of the ride, obviously, I'll call them and give them an exact number. But if we have the kind of turnout I'm hoping for, they're going to need a heads up. And honestly, I hope we really take over the restaurant like we did back in 2018. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And again, I want to honor Dave and Beth because they're the ones that really made this happen. So please show up early. We're going to have a prompt kick stands up at 7 a.m. And help me on this ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please come on out and, and join me on June 25th. Uh, be ready for a kick stands up at 7, which means try to get there at least a half hour early. Use the calendar to sign up. But join me on this. It's going to be a special day. And we can really use the miles also. And I just want to say a special thank you also to Paul Levy. He's the one putting this together for us. And hopefully it, you enjoy it as much as I had fun doing this because it's been a blast. And if you want to continue these, let me know. Send a comment um, and we'll discuss it with the board and maybe we'll start doing this again. But uh, let me see your comments on this if you want to continue these. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this and I hope to see you all on many of these events throughout the month.